Instagram. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, except it changed the whole Zoom. Oh, got it. Well, there yeah. We go. Okay, we're so, good. We're all good. Okay, so does that work? My hands. Yeah. There we go. Yay. Okay. <laughs> all right, so, so I'm supposed to get this started. <coughs> Let's see. What are we doing today? Lock it. There we go. All right. So I gotta turn the volume down on that, the volume down on this. You guys, this is such a process. Okay. We've got uh, an iPad, two phones, and a computer all making this happen. So welcome everybody. This is Anna. So those of you who are just joining us over on Instagram and then also over on Facebook. Um, we are going to, Corey's gonna learn a bunch of different Valentine type inspired designs. Um, you can do them however you want. Uh, just so you know, we have a contest that just started today. Is today the first? Today's the first. Today's the first. So it just started today. And um, it is uh, called something with your sweetheart. So <laughs> anyway, it's the opportunity to do this with your sweetheart. And it just can be anybody you love. Technically, it could be your dog, but they might not do a very good job of painting your nails. <laughs> but that uh, could be kind of fun. That could be very, very <laughs> messy. Yeah. Um, so, we would love to have you guys participate in that. And so, Corey is going to be learning some new ideas that maybe you can take off with also. Okay. Okay. So, first thing, as always, Corey paints my fingernails. So Am I doing go. five or ten? I can't remember. So I would recommend ten, just so that you can. Um, this is what I'm starting with for the base: Sally Hansen Insta Dry Crayola White. Mm. <laughs> are you from, so funny are about you that. from the South? I'm from the South. No, you're no, not. And I'm we are not. totally oh butchering gosh. that beautiful accent. All right. Oh, remind me. Okay. I wiped the top part like that. Yes. Okay. Boom. All right. I think I'm ready. No, well, I, I want to zoom out so that Instagram, there we go, so Instagram can see what the heck you're doing better. And then. So now it's got an angle on. Oh, look, it doesn't spell like a weeble wobble. <laughs> we had weeble wobbles and they were kids. I'm aging you myself. Are I'm very dating much myself. Aging yourself. I had weeble wobbles. We had the ship with the little people that weeble wobbled and didn't fall down. They were funny. Yeah. Anyway, okay. <laughs> Getting off topic. Did you turn them into pirates? Okay. I think they were pirates. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now I got to paint white. Wait. So I'm going to wipe the air. Okay. And I go squish, fan, push, pull. And you can go slower. <laughs> okay. Well, I didn't get very close to your cuticle. That's I should, fine. I should probably redo some more on there, right? I, I don't know. And let's see, what do you always say? You have plenty of working time? Yes, but don't. And you want it kind of thick, but right? No, no, you actually want it thin. Thin? Oh, man. It's better to do two layers thinly than to do one layer thickly. So um, if you guys have any questions, so Corey's going to start by painting, and we'll see how well he oh, does painting. I got He's some actually, on your finger. Okay, so on you your got skin. your tool. Oh, that's right. We're going to learn how to do some of this. So... See how I got that on her finger skin right there? I guess I go like that. Yes. There we go. <laughs> and wipe it on your paper towel. Paper towel. Okay, got it. You can't see my paper towel. It's off, off camera. All right, there we go. Okay, so if you guys have any questions, um, so just to let you guys know what the plan is, Corey is going to learn how to do simple little hearts, dotted hearts. Um, he's going to learn how to do a dotted French manicure. Uh, he's also going to learn how to do drag hearts. And I didn't drag write down... Hearts. Yeah. A drag Is marble like hearts. dragon hearts? No. Oh. Um, and then he's also going to learn how to do a glitter gradient. Uh, and i sorry that I can't remember. I forgot to write it down on who made the request. Oh, another one was a fan... We'll see if we have time for all of these. The fan gradient, and um, and then somebody else asked for tips on cleanup because. So here's one tip: use a, oh, but it's not. It's already dry. Yes, with 
some of this. So the reason that Corey's having a little bit of trouble is because he is using the Insta Dry, and it dries quickly. Oh, I see. So um, I always say you have plenty oh, of working wow. time, provided it's not a quick dry polish. Good. Yep. Done. Good. Um. So fan gradient. So we're just having him start with the white, which will give us kind of a, a good base. You guys can pick whatever base you want. Um, for some things, you may want red or pink. Um, so, yeah, hopefully we have time to give you lots and lots of ideas for this oh, I think I made that contest. Um, oh. And have your sweetheart take a look at this for okay, ideas. beautiful. We're going to start with that. And that, do you have a tip on this one? I don't know if you need to talk about your tip. Yeah, the t I glued on a artificial nail because... I whacked my thumb in the stall door or we doing horses and um, then a couple months later I had this huge blood bruise that grew out and then the nail was so weak it started to just kind of crumble and was tearing halfway into my nail bed not not very good not nice so you can put my finger down if you'd like no. <laughs> I don't have to hold it up in the air? No. Um, and so that is my new technique for pretty oh, big, too fast. kind of like bad nail breaks or tears is I just get an, an artificial plastic tip and I glue that baby on. Oops, I flung some weight. Um, Good thing so if you mat. guys have any questions about what Corey's doing or... Um, I'm putting white on. <laughs> See, lots of you guys have joined. Let me throw out some of those names. Let's see if I can see them. Holy, a white. Oh man. Um, domestic goddess, welcome. Bammy, O one, Carol, Claire. Wow, white text on a white mat is very, very hard. Hey, man's Michelle, how are you? Um, Izzy nails it. Hi. Oh, twist. Twist. Okay. I don't want to wrench, um, wrench your finger. Caroline, Romy. Oh, it's going to be dry. Judy. Isn't it? Oh, there we love go. Love and hate. Um, yeah, you guys will have fun. Corey's a goofball. What? <laughs> what yeah, are you talking about? Ah, uh, Star. Ooh, that was a good Aaron. swipe. Uh, sorry, I'm not saying hi to everybody. It's, this is really hard to read on white. All right. So okay. welcome to all of you. Oh, man. Oh, what did I do? I messed up that one. Okay. <gasps> Look at that. Now what do you do? What did I do? You know what you're supposed to do? I have no clue. Lick it. Lick it? <laughs> Why lick it? You're not going to stick your head. Why lick it? It's something about the enzymes in... Um, in your spit? In your... Yeah. Um, but what does that do? since it dries so fast... I don't know. It smooths it out. But it's okay. Come here. You could, <laughs> yeah. That didn't do squat. It didn't because it's a quick dry. It would have if it was regular. Well, can I can I polish over it? Um, you very well might. Yeah, try and do just filling in that. Yeah, gap. right. No, I'm serious. I do it. Well, you're you're a professional. I am not a professional. Uh, I did not go to school for this. Like that. Yep. Good. Oh, look at that. And top coat will smooth it out. God, did I bring top coat? I don't know if you brought top coat. I think coat. I forgot to get out top coat. You guys, this is nuts trying to make sure that <coughs> we have everything. Sorry for the cough. I'm just getting over the flu from last week. I was out all freaking last week with the flu. I know. Stupid. Don't mess with the flu, guys. It's bad this year. All right. And it's not too late to go get a flu shot. Okay. All right. So we have all white. these dry. We have white. You need to close that white. Close the white. Got it. Okay. All, All right. closed. Out of the ladybug. Okay. Okay. Now I'm so practicing something. You're going to learn how to do dotted hearts. So okay, the dotted really. Dotted hearts. Oh, I like that tool. Okay. This is a really fancy tool. Costs a lot of money. Okay. Ready? Here we go. Boom. There you go. <laughs> it's a, a pencil. Sewing it, pin. It's a stuck. dead pen, dead eraser pencil. Stuck into the eraser. So, so go, what I want to show you guys is that you guys can use there. all kinds of tools. So that's one tool. 
Because it's got, then you use the little, where is it? There, use, use that little thing and dot, 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 dot. Okay. Okay. Then there's. What's this? These. A dotting tool. Oh. But it makes very, very small We dots. have a dotting tool. Oh, see how it's kind of, this one's kind of pointy. Okay. What else we got? This is not a dotting tool, is it? No, that's actually a curette, and it's actually for removing the cuticle, which is the dead skin on your nail plate. That's for the cuticle? So some people do that. <coughs> you can actually see it. Oh. That makes it... There we go. It's got a little, like, like a scoop. Fancy. It's like a scooper duper. Right. Deal. And there's a little bitty one on the other side. So that helps scrape off the last little bits of... Um, cuticle it's on your nail plate when you're removing it so i guess because it's, it's roundy right there it's usually done at the dot, salon dot with that right okay. it's usually right. used at the salon so that you can another expensive tool yes toothpick toothpick for dotting all right and then what else we got what is this that, oh this is what is it that that's for stabbing olives in your martini no no what although is, it would work i don't know what that is for, um, those are pins for lacing up a turkey or a... Oh, a, like for stabbing the fat together to sew it? Uh, yeah, you just but stab you stab it? it in and then you lace through the holes. Oh, wow. I found that fancy. in my kitchen drawers. <laughs> okay, so yeah. all kinds of fancy tools. And then there's this little Sharpie. Where is it? Oops, I got a... I'm not That's actually close. the I'm needle tool that you're not going to use. There we go. Oh. You're not going to use that right now. Okay, I'm not going to use that right now. All right, so dotting. So now what do I do? Get red. Red. Is that a good red? It's a clearance red. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Sonia Kushak, I think. SK. So, SK on top. There we go. So see, I'm like you guys. I buy a lot, lot of, stuff of love. Clearance. Tout plein d'amour. Because my French stinks. French stinks. <laughs> so. I'm sure there's people in France, in France that are watching like, oh, and they're going, oh, cringing. I butchered that. All right. So what do I do now? Okay, so just give yourself a blob over here that's still in frame, hopefully. Okay. Is that a good blob? Yeah. All right. Got a big blob. We've Ooh, got like 40 people over home. on Facebook. Welcome to everybody on right. Facebook. Wow. So now, dotting tool. I'm gonna, I want to use this fancy one. So now what do I do? I'm making, you said we're making hearts? Yes. So okay. what you're going to do is... Um, d I dipped it in the red. Was I supposed to? Yeah. Okay. So I'm you're going to make... Right can it be still be seen? Yeah. Okay. You're going to make two dots right next to each other. Nope. What? What do you mean nope? That's Try next again. to each other. No, next to each other now. Like touching next yeah, to each like other? Yeah, like two little dots kissing each other. Alright. Okay. Now you're going to take that and you're going to pull it down into with, a point. With the dotting tool thing? Mm -hmm. With this thing too? Yeah. Try it. Ooh. Beautiful. There you go. Now you have a heart. Cool. Okay. It's not the most beautiful heart. All right, so now try it in different sizes. Oh, how do you get that? That would be a country style heart. Oh man, I'm making it worse. <laughs> so the key just learned: don't keep messing with it because you make it worse. All right. Um, okay, so try. This is kind of a big little, big little ball, <laughs> big ball for making that little pointy part. Okay, so try another tool. So like, oh, oh, I got, oh, here we go. High tech. Dot, dot. And then I'm going to use a toothpick to pull it. Oh, shoot, I need more paint. Paint. Polish? Yeah, and so you guys know, Corey's working with polish, and I actually, for a lot of my art, I prefer to use uh, acrylic paint. Well. It's far more forgiving. I'm sort of, it's, yeah, I got more control, good. but yeah, okay, there we go. All right, so now try the, your dots with a couple of the other dotting tools, not that one. The, try the curette. The curette. Curette. Which is kind of like, I mean, a lot, I know a lot of you guys have dotting tools. Um, it's a lot. But like if you don't, there you go. You learned. And then probably I would use that toothpick to pull it out. Nope, I'm going to use the other side because it's little. 
I am still in frame. I got it. Cool. I'm checking it out while we're doing it. There's another little heart. That's pretty good. That I'll, is. I'll do another one here. Let's see. Okay. So over. Oh look, see Wendy got it. She's she knew she that that was it. a skewer of something. Um, and she had the flu shot. Then fever of a hundred point five. 105.9. Oh my gosh! That's Not terrible. Not kidding or lying. Then previously three times active duty military was given pneumonia vaccine. Ended up five days in the hospital with bacterial pneumonia. Oh my gosh. Holy Wendy. cow. I'm glad you're still alive. 105 right? is no fun. I only got up to 101. All right. Okay, so Wendy's saying a top coat over, then use remover with a brush over the gap. Uh, I'm not sure where she was talking, but she was somewhere in there. Let's see. Oh, man. Now these, you know, the smaller you get, you can do really, really sweet, teeny tiny little hearts. Um, I am getting more polish as I go. Oops. Well, that's sort of a sweet teeny heart. Sweet teeny heart. <laughs> I don't know. That's hard with that little pointy little guy. Okay. It's, it's kind of small. Let's see. All right, so now let's try it with a brush. With a brush. Mm -hmm. That's a cute little heart. There's a, there's a, a sweet heart. teeny heart. That's a sweet teeny heart. Okay. okay. Um, and then I'm doing it with the any? same. So what's the technique with the brush then? Same so, same kind of thing. Yeah, or you could use the dotting tool to do your dots. Okay, dot. Oops. Yeah, your polish is getting kind of thick, so you might want some more. All right, I suggest the dotting tool for the dots because that is not. Well, but you can so use good. that to pull your. Point. Yes. No, I agree. I agree. Pulling the point would be good. So here. Let's see. Oh yeah, that is getting thick. I might need to. I need a new dollop. That's okay. You're almost done. We're ready to. Time to move on. Sure. So then a brush. Pull that into a little heart. Pin it in. Mm-hmm. And should I make an arrow through it? <laughs> that that's a fancy arrow, honey. It is. For Cupid. <laughs> There you go. Oops. Wow. And what was your rule? Don't Cupid. rework it. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. <Because> if, <laughs> so here's the thing. If you are making a big old mess, <laughs> you it's an opportunity to turn it into something else. Or you could start over. All right. Now you can clean that up. I'll so. make that a heart. There we go. <laughs> that was a mess up. Okay. You want to clean it up? Clean it up. Okay. Got my little grabby. Oh. A little grabby. Grab a cotton ball. Oh, there we go. The acetone pump bottle. Dealey Bopper, I like better. <laughs> Ooh, we're going to be paying. Oh my gosh. It's too, we got to zoom out a little bit. Let's see if I can. That's off your that. back. All right. Is that good? Yeah. Good enough. Into um, the trash. All right. <coughs> okay. okay, now we're doing. So the next thing we're going to do is a dotted French. So what I'm going to do is have you actually use the, the grid, the lines. Okay. So, oops, I just wrote on it. Don't do that, Anna. <laughs> um, and so what you're going to do <coughs> is you're, you're going to take some red. So you're going to pretend that, let's try, this area is my fingernail. Okay. Okay, all right. So what you're going to do is you're going to, okay. So you're gonna do, use your polish and you're gonna brush just a little bit along this edge right here, like pretending that this is my free edge. So question, will yes. that ink come off with, if I if we drew on your in the mat, would the ink come off with acetone? Would it clean it up? I don't know. I could draw your little nail, let's see. Which one are we using, this one? Yeah. There. Insta okay. nail. Sweet. All right. <laughs> Hopefully so now, it comes off. So now we just messed up a mat. I'm using. So use red. red. Okay. 
And what am I using to paint with? Just the brush. Just the brush. And I'm gonna you are do... just going to paint the tips. All right. So now, yeah. now, one thing that is going to be different here is your nail, you have an edge. So it's like, if I go over the edge on this, it's going to like fine. look all funky. It's just practicing. All right. So we're more important. What's more important is the other edge. What, what is the shape? Does it follow the shape of your nail? So you're doing a French manicure. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. So a French manicure does basically like this, okay. except it's okay if you kind of go straight across. Because okay. what you're gonna do is create this red tip, okay. and then you're gonna create lace dots on the edge of it. So lace dots. Okay. I know. Some fancy stuff going on. All right. Okay. You guys should see this. He's contorting, I'm, getting himself I'm, all twisted to try I'm and make all, it all work. Oh, Welcome get, to all of you guys on Instagram. I gotta get the right so, angle. For those of you who are new and have no clue what we're doing. Is that a beautiful French tip? Oh, man, I boogered it up. <laughs> Corey's learning how to do some Valentine's-inspired nail wow. art. That's not too bad. And that one actually bad. is pretty transparent. Right there, it boogered it up. Though. No, that's the whole point is you're going to... Fix the boogers. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I but, hate boogers. So what we want actually right. is we want a different color um, when you do the final one because okay. it's too transparent. We want something that's very solid. Okay. So what? What? So I, now what I you would now know. what you would do is go get a thicker red. Um, grab right there. There's one by the purple. This. Yeah. This sparkly. That's why you want it. Ooh, look at that. Orly something. So paint over this with this. Rock it. Please. Rock it. Paint, paint over the, over the same mm -hmm. red. All right. What's this going to do? This is like glittery. It's going to be more opaque. Won't it like... No, you're fine. Okay. All right. So you the just nice wanted thing this because it's glittery. No, I wanted it because I knew it was opaque and glittery <laughs> you're all about the sparkles okay okay here we go so then what you would now what you're going to do is you need a dot a dollop of your Which red the red again the red you just did the red i just did put a did. dollop right there all right okay that's and not a very big dollop. Does it need to be a big dollop? No, because then what you're going to do is you're going to go in along this edge with your dotting tool. Which edge? Which dotting tool? The inside tool? edge, because you're making oh. a French tip. Oh, because I want to make the pretty, make it pretty. Yes. All right. So we're going to stick with the low-tech one just because that's easy for people to get, hopefully. All right, so I got my, my low-tech dotting tool. Okay, so then you're just going to create some dots along that edge that edge by dipping in there dipping dots yep okay. <laughs> i have never eaten dipping dots I you can make them bigger i can't tell what are you I, doing i have no idea i'm making dots all right i did not describe that well enough i'm doing dots you are and it's not it? doing what i wanted it to do <laughs> all right well, <laughs> What am I supposed to do? All right. So make a row. Let's try this. Make a row right here of just a straight row of dots right next to each other because you're going to do like a lace pattern. So you want it to look like dots, not like a line. You want it to look like dots kind of right next to each other. Okay. I wanted bigger dots. You got the oh big gosh. giant tool. I know, but that's what it's picking up. I need a bigger dollop. Oof. Oh, they, that's a different color. Picture. All right. Which one was it? Oh, it was this one. So what am I doing? I'll show you. I'm going to draw a picture. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so I'm going to try and show this to you guys. So where we're going, what we're trying to do is dots that look like this. Okay. 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 I can't see it there. That's right. There we go. Here we go. Let's see what we can do here. All right. So bigger dots, just barely touching each other. Good. 
Oops. Boink. Okay. Ah, there we go. I got it at the end. You did. That actually looks really, really good. All right. Okay. So now I'm going to do that for this. That is what you would along, be doing. Along the French manicure. Yes. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Is that good? That looks good. Kind of like that. Right. Okay, okay, I guess you kind of get the idea. Yeah. So now you're going to go back in with your white. Okay, where is it? Okay. And then you're going to take <coughs> a smaller dotting tool, and I would probably use that curette, and you're going to create a white dot right in the center of every single one. So I need another dollop. I would get a big amount, yes. Okay. All right, let's try that. Let's see the curette. There's, I'm getting the small side of the curette. No, I'm gonna go low tech still. Cause that's what people have. Toothpick. Are you toothpick? There you go. Okay, there we go. Let's see if I can do this. Nice. Why, thank you. <laughs> I am a nail professional. Okay. Now, your hand is taking up the whole screen. Oh, so nobody saw what I did? <laughs> Not much. So, right, you had here. to work at, a, work at an angle. Whoops. This is kind of what I did. Oh, except I did them smaller. A little smaller. See, now that's perfect. So that's what I was nice. doing. Nice, nice, nice. So then it looks all nice. Exactly, that's the point. We're going with a red French tip with a lace edge. Okay. So that's that one. So ideally this this little shape here would be a little more nicely curved a follow, <coughs> following your uh, nail yes. line better. Okay. Okay. All right. Now you get to clean up that. So why aren't we doing this on your nails? Because it... it, it and this is a really good point of the mat, is practice your stuff. Because the biggest frustration for us is, we go, oh, I'm gonna do this thing, and I don't practice it, and then I try it on my nails, and it looks like, Kaka, mm, Kaka poo poo. Yeah, that. So, practice on your mat. Um, okay, so the next thing is, Okay. <coughs> We're gonna do Excuse me. a fan brush gradient. Fan brush gradient. Okay. There's a fan so brush. You need your white. White. Okay. Your Got it. a deep red. A deep red like that. Yeah, that would be pretty. And maybe a pink. And what is this? Burgundy flirt. Ooh. All right, white and a pink like this. Yeah. Salmon. No, salon. <laughs> Complete salon manicure. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a fancy name or something. Oh my gosh, you're no, so funny. It's. A f what the heck does that say? What would you. A for. A forable? No, that's can't be. Adorable? No, it's like A F. A florable. Oh, because it's floral. Oh. A florable. These fancy names. All okay, right. okay so I got them. Got now them. what you're going to do okay. is we're going to spread the color between the three colors here. So you want your white, your pink, and your red. Okay. So okay. put three dots, dollops of your polish. Does it matter what order? What's better? Well, we're middle? going from white to red. So then, oh, yes, order okay. would matter. All right. So let's and do we have a white that's not a quick dry? Jeez. I don't know. Um, this one? Yeah, Nail that'll lacquer. work. Where is it? French tip. All right, here we go. I didn't shake that one, though. All right. Instagram, Facebook, anybody have questions? Or do you want, are you just lurking and Dollop. figuring out what Corey's doing? 
Just in case you guys don't know. Oh, Samira says you should have a YouTube channel. We do have a YouTube channel. Go to youtube.com forward slash bliss kiss. And you will see. We've got over 100 uh, videos over there. And, Is that uh, good? Yeah. Okay, now if I just brush through now it. Now what you're going to do is brush through it. Just one one direction or back and forth or what? Try it. Which? Try it because, you know, we have acetone. We can clean things up. Ooh, that's going to... See, isn't that pretty? And then, is that that's, on your nail? That's what you that's would be doing. That's not on your nail. Yes, that, that's what you would be doing on my nail. So it's you put great... the ginormous drops on your nail? Oh, no. So at once you, you pick it up and then, then you go, you go like do, this on your nail. Your okay. Like Oops. Yeah, isn't that pretty? It's oh, oh, you can't you can't reverse it. <laughs> Don't reverse it. Okay. You can, but you, you have like, to. You gotta yes. go this way. All right. There you go. That would be pretty. Isn't that nice? It's a little kind of a streaky one, but. Um, and this is called dry brush. A fan brush gradient. Fan brush gradient. No, I thought, I've heard you talk about dry brush stuff. What the heck is so, dry brush versus fan brush? So if you, I will show you this. Do I need to clean? I probably need to clean up your brush so it doesn't yes. get all gross. So. All right. So with your normal polish, so you're going to get a stroke like this, okay? For dry brushing, you're going to wipe as much of this polish off as you possibly can. Get that brush as dry as possible. So see, then you get this streaky thing that happens. Oh. That's dry brushing. Gotcha. So it's the actual brush of the polish. Yes. Okay. Gotcha. All right. I sort of cleaned that. Can't tell if that's... I would normally do it in a little bowl of acetone, but that works great. Okay. Because I don't know what I'm doing. All right. Okay. So now he's got the Gotta fan brush down. Yep. We are going to do your fingers one the, of these times, right? So that's the fan gradient. Yes, we are going to do your fingers. You need to make sure you leave time to do your na actual nails. we got 25 minutes left. All right. All right. <laughs> so the next one you're going to do is the drag heart. Dragon heart. <laughs> so get your color club white. Okay, that's that one. Okay. And then we're going to go Excuse with our me. Rimmel um, red. And what you're going to do is polish white fairly thickly, okay, okay. on the map here, right here. Okay. So what is go that? ahead and cover like, up that grid. Would that be like what I already did on your nail? Kind of what you're doing on my nail. Uh-huh. But this is a technique that you might want to do on the mat and then let it dry and have it be a decal. It's okay. You need way more polish. Way more? It needs to be thick. Super thick? All right. Do it so it stays wet. Yep. Oh, that was Well, a, that's a little too thick. Is that too but much? Okay, I'll take some out. <laughs> you said thick. I did. Well, you're going to get to play with it. Okay, that's good. Is that good? All right. Now you're going to take three drops of red. You're going to <coughs> do me. it from the brush. You're going to do a drop here, a drop here, and a drop there. Three in a Not row? Not quite touching. Yes. Not quite touching. Oh, yo, yo. One hot mama says thumbs up. Ooh, that's a big drop. Is mm -hmm. it too much? Not touching. <gasps> Not touching. Not touching. I'm sorry. Like way over here. Yes. Right. Now, you're going to take this uh, marbling tool and you're going to drag straight on through. Okay. It like the white swallowed it up. Well, yeah, because you had too much white. What? Not you enough red. Lot. You <laughs> said, what do you mean not enough red? Those are big old dollops of red. All right, so. Oh we'll, my gosh. We'll clean this up. So is this a, this is a. And we'll try this again. A drag heart fail. Sorry. All right. Take two. All right. Hence the mat and practicing. Yeah. Do so, I do it on top down. of that? That's done. Okay. All right. So, do you guys think Corey's doing a good job? Uh, India, in, Indo, something girl. She says, hi, Anna and Corey. Hello. Hey, domestic goddess. 
All right. So, so I'm going to do that again. Okay. So cute. Now I know Great what I'm job, doing. Good job, Corey. Now I know what I'm doing. Okay. So thick, but not super thick. I don't, I don't agree with this super thick on the white. Because you don't want the white. You need it to be able to drag. You have to have enough polish or it won't drag. Oh. Okay, so that's a good amount. And get your dots farther and apart. Okay. Which one? Oh, that one. Out. I banged the ladybug. Let me be bossy. Bossy pants. Big, big yep, girl. Yep, just like that. Farther apart. Maybe only do two. But it looks like it's swallowing it again. Well, and maybe that's we do a different white. All right, I'm going to try yeah, to do this fast. Where is, is. The, this? Here we go. Okay, there you go. Hearts. There's your drag hearts. Well, the bottom, well, the middle, well, yeah. Mm, 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 uh, try right. the Crayola no, 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 I'm going to do this my way. <laughs> Course, I'm gonna do it my way. I'm gonna stick with the same polish just to show that. Oh, wait, you scraped Smirin that. Smirin says, up. Why don't you have real dotting tools? I actually do. They're all at the warehouse. <laughs> I did not plan well enough. Corey would get all. He's he's getting better at not getting mad at me for not planning well enough. What? You didn't plan well enough for. Just kidding. <sighs> all right. Indo says, Before you know it, Anna can roll on you to help her do her nail art on her nails for real. You're getting so good with your practicing different techniques. All right, here we go. <laughs> Somebody else, Mrs. Deb says, boogered? Boogered? Yes, Corey likes that word. <laughs> <laughs> and then Kirsten says, fix all the boogers. All right, there we go. Oh, Miss Deb, no way would I let my husband do my nails. You've got oh, to. Oh, come have, on. You've do got the to, challenge. you got to join our little challenge, our sweetheart thing thing I forget what we call it okay so I did the white a lot thinner okay oh that's a and ginormous that's, way too, that's much. way too big I'm gonna just do two because they're ginormous but watch how beautiful these hearts are gonna be maybe maybe not <laughs> <laughs> well you have to have the combination Ouch. of both. Oh, I hit the camera. Sorry, Facebook. I hit it with my forehead. You have to have enough thickness of the white. Ah, all right. And maybe it's the wrong red. I'll try it. Let me, t okay. Maybe it's because it's more of a transparent red. Here's the, here's the quick dry Crayola one. Try that glittery red. Let's see if that makes a difference. All right. That one that I like. So dots, but not big but yep that'll be good now we'll notice see. this time what he did was he didn't reload every with every dot there we go so and yeah. if you if you don't come push on, down come on. quite so hard, in. see how you Spread were in. you were lifting up with that one was that? Yeah. so you get this really deep line because you dug all the way down into the mat i did so whereas if you right. just drug through the polish i'm getting this i'm getting okay. this i'm gonna he's do gonna, i'm gonna do one more do it. i'm gonna do one more do we have room i'm figure yeah, out cover the, up cover the, the fingers all right so we'll do that white a little thick, but not super Ikezu thick. says, I let my husband fix the tips that had chipped off, and he did a pretty good job. Indo yeah, says, does Corey like ice cream? He keeps oh, making, my gosh, I love ice cream. He keeps making ice creamy type references to describe stuff. Dippin' dots and dollops of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Although ice I don't cream. know that I've ever had dippin' dots. I think our kids have. Our kids did. We might have had, like, two dots. All right, I'm going to try not to push quite so hard. So you're just dragging through the, the polish. There. You can, yeah. That was kind of, it's hard not to. You do have to get deep. them a little bit farther apart. That sort of yeah. helps with yeah. it. Also, you can, I see a lot of bloggers, um, nail artists, they'll do the dots this way so they have more room to get like in an extra dot. So they'll oh, do so it. So they have a like curve. a little curve in their finger. Uh -huh. All right. Okay, I think so I've done that, enough of this. So then that, what I would do is I would let that dry, and then, I don't know if we can do it here. No, it hasn't dried enough. And you then got, you can, don't you have to put top then you can lift coat it or something right. on it, too? All right. Okay. All okay, right. so we have 15 minutes 
You have... We should probably do your nails. Yes. And the last thing would be the glitter gradient, but you can do that directly on my nails. Okay. All right, guys. So, so far, no time for stamping, but we will definitely be working on that one. We'll have to do a stamping. I think a whole hour to stamping, right? Because probably need a lot of practice. <laughs> Careful. I remember that. Careful. You're Careful. shaking the whole table, honey, oh. when you do that. Earthquake. Okay. Okay. All right, you guys. Here we go. Here goes nothing, right? So what am I doing? <laughs> Okay, you learned uh, little hearts. You learned oh, let's do, okay, we'll dotted do, French. We'll do little hearts. You learned drag hearts. So, so and, and doing hearts. doing the dotting tool. I guess I still I put a dollop down. Oh, well, there's a dollop. Which one are you doing? Dots. The dots with or the, the dotting French? tool. No, just dot hearts. Okay. So it, is it better to have the point pointing towards your body or away? I prefer to have nail art facing the other person for them to enjoy. Okay. And if I want to, then I can flip my hand around and f have it face me. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to use a different tool to pull that. I'm going to dip that into the... Watch your hand. Cool. That's a cool little heart. That worked. <clears throat> and just for fun, hold on. I'm going to do a little baby one next to it. You're going to do a baby heart? Nails and Oil says, nails are curved. It's easier on the mat. I agree. Um... Ursuline, does the red stain the mat? It has not. And we, you guys see a pink tint, and that's only because if you guys can see it. Isn't that cute? That is. All right. It's because. Okay, what do you want to do next? I don't remember. Oh. All right, we'll try the little French tip one. French tip lacy. Okay. Yes. Um, All right. So the pink that you do see on it, if you can, um, that will just a little bit more acetone will wipe it all up. If you do get a polish that stains your mat, all you have to do is apply a little bit of gel bleach and, um, and let that sit for two hours to overnight, depending. And that will get rid of it. Miss <laughs> Deb says, watching a train wreck. <laughs> train wreck? What are you talking about? It depends Just on, kidding. It depends <laughs> on what, what they were talking about. Oh, yeah. Because that comments are a little delayed, actually. Corey's a natural. The mat cleans so well. Corey, you're such a good husband. See, wouldn't isn't but this going to be go fun? My polish for love or money. Isn't this going to be fun doing a little thing with your your honey? Oops. Yeah. Honey I think does it's the nails. A, it's a sweetheart thing. Sweetheart it's thing. Yeah. Um, right. Miss Deb says you need a cough drop. Yes, he does. But then he wouldn't be able to talk. So, yeah, when he gets sick, a lot of times he get this gets this <coughs> deep cough, and Where it's really annoying. Going? Yeah. All right. So let's see if I can do the little lacy things. All right. Uh, oh, uh, Kirsten says, for those of you who want to check out the Sweetheart Challenge, go to myblisskiss.com forward slash sweetheart for all of the details. Oh, I totally boogered on your... <laughs> Hold on. This is not fast dry, so I could probably go like this. Okay. Correct. You can scrape it off. Scrape that up. Oh, look at that. Not too bad. My well, leaves a little bit. Okay. All right. Just so you know, in the future, yeah. that is no longer a French tip. Why? Because. Because now it's way too. It's not. Tip <laughs> means tip. Okay. <laughs> not so halfway what would, down what, the nail. What would you call that? <laughs> um, I don't know if there's a name for it. 
The Corey Seidel lace technique. Yeah. That's what it is. I, I, you know, it's not wrong, but if you're going for the French tip thing, it's, yeah, no. Yeah, no. Um, let's see. Yeah, Corey does get into this, Nails and Oil says. Um, there we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that pretty. Oh, hey, Laura. Look at that. See? Now, now that's cute. Beauty, that is cute. Good job. All right. All right. Okay. So but what's I, next? I need to clean that up, though, right? To... Yeah, that'll help. All right. You may hear kid, kid noises. All right. Now what? Hi, Chiv. Okay. So what's next? I don't remember. You did the drag heart. Um, you can actually do that on the okay. nail. I'll try the drag heart on the nail. Let's see. We'll do this one. Okay. You're going to need another layer of white on my Why? nail. Oh, because it has remember? to be kind of wet. All right. Okay. I think we decided that this quick dry was a little better. Okay. My nail's a lot smaller. You're going to need to be very, very careful with how much dots okay. you put on there and how much polish is there. Be Whoa! Much. That was going to be a ginormous little dot. Man. Alright. I'm going to go with two. Oh, geez. <laughs> ah, where's my tool? There it is. I think the white's probably drying too much. Ah. <laughs> Obviously, I need some work Actually, on that, that one. Actually, that doesn't look bad. Yeah, it does. It does not look <laughs> like hearts. <laughs> I totally dug into the white. You went for the abstract heart look thing, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. With a little dot on the side there. Yeah. Oh well. But okay. You know what? I need what, to work on drag the, hearts. That's what our Simply Grab is for because then if you screw up one <coughs> nail, you don't have to worry about getting polish all over. You just clean up that one nail and you're good to go again. Okay. All right. Well, that one stunk. Fan gradient? Do you Fan need, gradient. Do you oh. need Simply Peel? That would probably be a good idea. Simply peeled. By Bliss Kiss. I heard they're a really good company. <laughs> I do. Yes, Mr. CEO of Bliss Kiss. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. All right. Um, oh, Nosy Neil says the lace one looks amazing. Good job, honey. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Nails and Oil calls yours broken hearts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Except now we gotta wait till this dries. Huh? Okay, what can I do on your thumb while that's drying? Uh, no, you can get set up. I'll blow on it. I'll blow on the, the simply <clears throat> peel. All right. Oh. You get set up with your colors. Oh, that's right. Okay. Because you can blow on peel, but you don't want to blow on polish. Correct. All right. Why? Why don't you want to blow on polish? Because then it makes the top dry too fast, and that's not good. For and then what happens? I can't remember. The solvents can't evaporate. Oh, so then the stuff underneath bubbles. Does something. the solvents bubble? Okay. What's a good red for that? Whatever you want. I don't know. Sparkly glitters. Would that be good? This that, no, that's no, got, that's, no. That no. one's actually what you're going to do on the thumb. I'll do this. Which one. is a gradient. Uh, that, that glitter gradient. All right. <coughs> I'm going to do the brush. Now, the brush, now, it doesn't look so pretty right now. Is that going to be okay? That won't work, will it? Oh, it was hard. Yeah. No, you're fine. Okay. okay. You ready? I don't know. I guess we'll All find right. out. So, I guess. So, I'll go. Just drag through it. Yep. Okay, here we go. You're almost working it to death. I am. It's like getting worse, isn't it? There you go. Leave it alone. Except the brush like step away. <laughs> <laughs> step away from the finger. 
Okay. It still looks good. It'll look really good with top coat. Because it's got, with see, I was going for that liney technique by having the polish the, be a little bit dry so that it left sort of lines. Dripping yeah. with sarcasm. Yes, that's my, sarcasm. All I, right, that's so. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. The last one is a glitter gradient that you get to do on my thumb. Here, I'll just have you do it on okay. the other one. I should clean that up. Good thing we have lots of cotton balls. Earthquake, sorry. Okay, so we have about five more minutes right. before we turn into a pumpkin. Okay. All right. Okay, so the next one is a glitter gradient, and we do need Simply Peel again. Sorry. Okay, which finger? That one. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your makeup sponge and you are going to apply that glittery red okay. that Wait, you wanted to what use. Is, what did you call this? A glitter gradient? Yes. Right. <clears throat> the glittery red. Gotcha. Okay. And your makeup sponge? Makeup sponge. Got a makeup sponge. Where is it? Oh, there we go. Makeup sponge. Okay. You are going to... I like to do this end this edge because it's about the size of my nail <coughs> some people use like this side and that's that's just harder for me because what you're going to do is you're going to pounce it so you're going to put okay you're going to put that i'm going to put this on the sponge but you only want enough to do <laughs> that's what it is cha-ching okay Sally Hansen Gem Crush, you are allowed to say it. Oh, Sally Hansen Gem Crush. Cha-ching! Okay. okay, on the sponge. On the sponge. I'm putting it on the sponge, okay? Like all over it? Just on half of it. Half of it. Like how thick? A lot. This so, one kind of stinks. So some people do... Okay, that's probably good. Okay. And which stamp that the to take a little bit off. I'll just do that on the mat. Okay. So what you're gonna now do now it's all gone. No, it's fine. That is not now, fine. Okay. Now you're going to do some of that halfway. So you're yep. That was a little more than halfway, but Okay. Okay. That's it. And if you want the 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 tip to be very very opaque with the glitter then you would go back and just add a little bit more glitter so right on the, the edge tip. just like that see now you guys this almost one be, like I knew what I was that doing. might be okay for those of you who are very very afraid of having a sweetheart to your nails okay, your hand keeps getting in the way I yes had a, I had a gradient and, you know you were made a really good point a lot of people like to make their sponge damp first oh um how do you do that but with do oh you, you just it? get it no <laughs> do you lick it no you get it wet with water okay and so if i was doing a gradient or an ombre then yes i would want to do that but with glitter if you're trying to do a glitter gradient i would not make the sponge wet because you're wanting the sponge to soak up the polish. You want to just have the... It, Although it didn't really soak it up, it just kind of stuck on there, probably because it's glitter. No, it soaked up... Yeah, no, it soaked up the, the polish suspension base for that glitter so that all you were stamping with was the glitter. Oh, okay. Oh, shoot, now I got on my finger. Okay. Okay. Miss Deb says, Anna, I've been married for 37 years. My hubby would not have patience for this. Good job, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he could, for the challenge, for the sweetheart challenge, he could do one nail. Yeah. There Just you go. Just the accent nail. There. Okay. There you go. Okay. All right, what, so, are, what are we doing now? Um, That's it. And, oh, snap. Snap? We didn't do the cleanup. Okay. okay we'll hit I the can cleanup. Try, I can try to do some cleanup. No, we've got like one minute. Okay. So what are we going to do for one minute? Um, You're going to tell everybody where they can go. You can go to myblisskiss.com. So there's what Corey did. Myblisskiss.com. That's where you can find all the products that we have uh, at Bliss Kiss, um, including 
Use today's Simply Peel, Simply Grab, which is our grabber dabber. You can buy the Ladybug. We didn't manufacture that, but we resell it from somebody else. Um, you can also get so Simply Peel, and we can oil after we're done because the oil's like the, the most important product. Okay, and also if you want to learn about all the awesome articles and information that Anna has written, go to nailcarehq.com. There's lots of stuff. You can search for nailcarehq.com and whatever you want to find out about in a Google search, and it should bring it up for you. Also on the website, nailcarehq.com, there's a little search bar. You can type in what you're looking for there, too. What else? Oh, if you want to do the Sweetheart Challenge, what was where was that? MyBlissKiss.com forward slash sweetheart, and that has all of the instructions. And you know what? It's just an opportunity to have two people have fun, hang out together, get a glass of wine, get a cup of tea, whatever you love to drink. We didn't and have any have wine fun. with this. this that would have been wine good. could have been interesting. <laughs> <laughs> right. So anyway. Thank you guys for joining us. And Corey so will be back next month. Do this summer. with your sweetheart. And what's Do next? it. Just, Just do it. And March. Nike. Nike. That's their thing. March is St. Patrick's, Patrick's Day. Day. So we, we will be having green some. Stuff. We will be doing green stuff. Okay. We could have green beer for that. I, I can't drink beer. No. It makes. It well, makes I'll drink beer. yours. <laughs> all right so okay. instagram's gonna turn us off we've got one right. minute left thank you so much you guys thank you for your tips and your thoughts and your we'll have to talk about how to make, make that prettier yes that's not so Corey pretty. needs to learn how to that needs to get up. cleaned up yeah i need to make it pretty i which one's your favorite <clears throat> my favorite yes the that one no I'm kidding that one's terrible I like the lacy one I like the lace one you and did you a know good what? job would it would it be too much if I put a little heart there in the white part uh for me yes yeah but for other people no Although, you do what makes you I happy. think I need to put a little more the there's white sticking through there I should make that yes. a little better I could make that I could clean that up with a little more polish huh? but good job well, those are, and the I hearts really, aren't too I love bad, the gradient too. Gradient turned that turned out, out great. Yeah. yeah. So you said the polish top coat will do something with that. It will blend it a little bit better. Okay. It won't be quite so streaky. Okay. There we go. There we go. Oh. All right. And that's not the French tip one. It's the Corey Seidel tip lace. Yeah. Thing. Lace. Thank okay. you. Hey, it's Anna. I've written over 70 nail care articles that you can find at nailcarehq.com. And if you're looking for products that will help you have longer, stronger nails, visit MyBlissKiss.com. Be sure to push the subscribe button and turn on notifications to get alerted when I publish more videos. This is Anna, signing off and sending you bliss.